Good morning, Belle. Well, this here is the barrier that Sally Qatar crashed into on Tuesday morning. It's scratched, but it doesn't have any other damage on it. He is currently still in a South London police station being questioned. We're told that he is not cooperating with officers, but we're starting to get more information about his background. So he was working, we think, in Libya for two years when in 2010, the fall of Gaddafi, he seems to have escaped and he made his way here to the U.S. UK. He was a refugee and was granted asylum. Since then, he's been living in the Midlands in Birmingham, and we think he's been working as a security guard during this period in Birmingham and in Nottingham. Now, in the past year, he's also been studying at the University of Coventry. He was apparently studying accountancy, but recently failed his exams and so was kicked off of his course. Now, people that knew him, he has a brother in Birmingham as well, who is said to be very shocked about this, and his friends say he was a nice guy. He was a Muslim but wasn't that devout. He liked British culture, he liked the music of Celine Dion, he liked playing pool and football, and they are very surprised that he has been caught up in all of this. And what about the area uh, where you are, Vincent? We heard uh, in your report uh, that call to make it pedestrianised. Uh, is that going to happen? Well, I'm just going to take you on a little walk around now. You can see here behind me, we've got these three tiers of barrier. These were put in in the early 2000s to stop terrorism. Now, around this building, sometimes the uh, protection narrows to two or one barriers, but it is pretty secure. And as I said, that barrier stayed intact. The problem that you've got, though, if I turn around, this is an incredibly popular tourist area, not just for Parliament, but because you've got Westminster Abbey here. Tens of thousands of people come here every week. And first Further along this street here, the pedestrian areas are unprotected. So MPs are now saying, should this area be pedestrianised? We heard from the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, he thought it was a good idea. And Tobias Elwood, who is a government minister who was actually caught up in the Westminster attack, he was the one that tried to give CPR to the stab police officer just there at Carriage Gate. He has said that he feels vulnerable walking around Westminster. So serious ideas now being talked about to try to pedestrianise this very central part of London.